Attention locals, this is your colonial overlord speaking. La Resistance is futile. We know all the tricks of the book, as we ourselves were occupied 30 years ago. Ah. Tu es under arrest. فلتسقط هذه الامبراطوريه الاستعماريه القديمه دعونا نبني مستقبل بلادنا لنجرب اشياء جديده كنت افكر في توتاليتيريان هيريديتري ديكتاتورشيب ما رايكم يا رفاق انا حقا اعترضت لكن طبعا احترم وجهه نظرك ويستحيل ان اقمعها باستخدام العنف اقترح اناركو سندكلست كوميون او ذلك يشبه كوميونيزم 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 Fighting men of both sides can do no more. Only one man can make the difference. It's Squire and his flying Delta jet. He's flying in a realistic World War II multiplayer strategy game with authentic World War II weapon systems and immersing himself in historical battles. They've just introduced air forces. I'm going in for another run. Anything can happen in the next 15 minutes. With 42 airplanes from all major factions, he's conquering his enemies and changing history with his own hands in Warpath. Click the link in the description to download Warpath and use my gift code to redeem bunches of in-game resources. It's totally free. It's Warpath. Nostalgia. What was in the news? Holy fucking surgeon tank! Take it out! Fire! Firing, sir! Ah, there goes another 12,000 pounds. This is getting very expensive. Will I uh, load another missile, sir? Ooh, um, I'll phone the Prime Minister. I hereby declare this place free of communism. And we only sustained minor casualties. Never even lost a tank. Boom! Oh shit, that was one of ours. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Free of communism, jolly good. Uh, what about the bad guy that was in charge? Did, did, did we get rid of him? Is, is he gone? Or was that another place? Was this the one with WMDs? Now, now listen, that, that is classified information. What the fuck? Holy shit! Steel Rain, this is Hitman. Requesting fire mission, Papa Quebec, 059-090-038 degrees, 200 meters. Fire when ready! 200 meters? That's danger. Uh, pretty close. Yeah, we're just gonna back up a little bit and advise from a distance. <laughs> Reverse driver. Oh, yeah. IED. Typical. Splash. USA! Okay, I am 100% sure that was the last insurgent tank. Tell the president we got them all! Whoa, Jesus! We got T-72s! Sunray! Sunray, this is it, man, too! Requesting air support! Woo! In the U.S. military, Every bomb's a smart bomb. 
Oh. All right, boys, that's lunch. Anyone got any charms? Good work. Nicely done, everyone. That strike came in so fast, it didn't even give us a chance to call in the British Army helicopter for support. We're running low on fuel, sir. Well, switch the engine off, then. Uh, uh, T-72 coming in, sir. Oh, drat, and we've just switched the motor off. Don't really want to start it again, you know, fuel prices and such. I say this is a perfect chance to showcase the local military we've trained up and supplied. Uh, let them have it, chaps. Get some! Get some, baby! Yeah! Woo! Get some! God damn, I'm good. And that ain't no shit, neither. I done got me 157 dead insurgent tanks killed. Any civilian vehicles? Sometimes. How can you do that? Easy. You just lead them a lot more. Oh, because they're all in cars. <laughs> ain't war hell? <laughs> now I think it's time we arranged a ceasefire with these insurgents. I'm sure after decades of rather expensive combat, they're completely finished and ready to step back into daily civilian life for good. Leave this to me. I have a way with Kurds. Hello there! Privet, my friends. We are from the Middle East. Aren't you indeed? Um, his accent does sound a bit... Russian. Ah, shut your f***ing mouth. I think I can speak for everybody, especially the British public, when I say that we're all ready to call it a day. Ah, I agree. Let us all stop fighting. When I go home, I will return to playing ice hockey at national team level. Really? National team, you say? Sir, I'm fairly certain the Russians are supplying the insurgents with tanks, and in addition to that, fighting on the front lines under their banner. Keep your voice down! Do you want to start World War Three? Do you? Yeah? You can afford it, can you? Yeah? Didn't think so. So, let's uh, call it a ceasefire, shall we? And uh, we're absolutely going to stay here and make sure the region remains stable. Ta-ra! You boys didn't need no translator? No, they spoke very good English and Russian. Besides, we don't use translators. More people to evacuate. So what you're saying is, we won this goddamn war! Woo! Let's go freedom! Let's go freedom! Woo! Alright, shut her down. Yep, ceasefire's all in place. They seem like a trustworthy bunch. Now, what do you think when it comes to an exit strategy? Oh, They've gone. Oh, they've left all their kit behind. I hope it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Go! But what about the local military we've trained? And the government we've set up? Ah, uh, maybe the UN will do something to keep the peace. That always works. Just wait and see. Anyway, I fancy our holiday. قد استرجعنا مواطننا اذا نظام التصويت ذاك بدا جيدا اقول باننا انشانا اي ديموكراسي ديموكراسي ديموكراسي